Just a disclaimer, this video was supposed to come out during the week of Mother's Day, but stuff got in the way and this video took longer to make than I thought. Just wanted to get out of the way first. And now, back to the video. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh wow, a video about your mom. But hey, other YouTubers have made videos about their parents, and you don't see anyone complaining to them. So yeah, I figured that since Mother's Day was this month, I might as well dedicate a video to her. She was probably her standard typical mother when it came to rules and permissions and that sort of thing. She was pretty strict on what we could and couldn't watch. When we were kids, if she found out about a TV show that had even the slightest of content unsuitable for children, watching it in our household was outlawed. And she outlawed a lot of shows and movies. Harry Potter, Adventure Time, all anime, The Simpsons, even Spongebob. Oh, you aren't allowed to watch TV and movies. I'm so sorry. No, you're looking too much into it. I don't live under a rock. She did eventually start to loosen up and permit a few things where violence was permissible, and eventually started lifting some of the bans she set when we were old enough. Heck, she took us to see the first Avengers movie when I was 11. Looking back, I can agree with some of her decisions. I remember when the second Spongebob movie was in theaters, my dad and my brothers wanted to see it just to get a taste of the franchise, but my mom and I didn't go because it was Spongebob and we thought it would be stupid. And we were right. My dad and my brothers came back from the movie and they all hated it. Thank you for not letting me watch that moronic trash. But then again, if she was a movie critic, she'd be in the 7% of critics who somehow thought the Emoji movie was a good idea. Which says something. But I didn't make this video just to talk about what my mom said I could and couldn't watch. Now, when most YouTubers talk about their parents, they usually bring up all of the stupidest and most humiliating moments their parents inflicted upon them. And while other YouTubers had to deal with their mothers eating their M&Ms as punishment for misbehaving, or giving away their favorite toy without their permission, or knowledge, I didn't have to deal with any humiliation. At least, not in public. The only real humiliation she would give me is also something the rest of my family does. So I decided not to talk about it in this video. So I guess I might as well end the video here, but okay, I'm out. Wait! Before you leave, I have one more story to tell. This better be good. Back when we lived in America, we went to this fair or gathering or whatever it was, I don't know. And I saw this river nearby with rocks along the banks, and I wanted to jump on them. I don't know why, I just wanted to. So my parents, my brother Ethan and I all started to parkour across this path of rock for whatever reason. And about halfway across the path, Ethan slipped off the rock he was on and fell into the river. And it wasn't one of those sorry excuses for a river that's calm and about as deep as a wading pool. This river was deep enough for a grown man to swim in it, and it was flowing pretty fast. Also, keep in mind that back then, neither me nor my brother were old enough to know how to swim, so he could have easily drowned in there. As soon as Ethan fell in, my whole family just freaked out and looked at him. Thankfully, my mom being the generous, loving, courageous parent she is, immediately dove in after him and saved him, losing one of her flip-flops in the process. But after she jumped in, I was in absolute panic. I jumped back onto drier land and ran back to where the event was. Eventually I met up with the rest of my family. My mom and Ethan were soaking wet and wrapped up in towels like a birthday present. This just goes to show how far my mom is willing to go for her children. Oh, and if it makes you happy, my dad saved the flip-flop she lost. In all honesty, I think my mom did a good job. No matter how many TV shows she banned, no matter how many vegetables she smuggles into our mincemeat, in the end, she's just looking out for me. And also my brothers. So good job, mom.